Is Anne Frank burning in hell right now? How about Mahatma Gandhi? Is Fred Phelps in heaven because he believed in the divinity of Jesus? Should a killer who genuinely repents be able to go to heaven? Should a kind-hearted atheist be forced to go burn in hell for all of eternity? What about any non-Christian good person? Should they be burning in hell? Would you be happy in heaven if someone you loved was in hell? If your son or daughter were dying, and I hope that never happens, would you just pray for them or would you take them to a doctor? And if you say you would do both, which one do you think has more of an impact? Whose prayers does God answer? And if it's ultimately God's will, what happens? Why even bother praying? If you have cancer right now, what's going to help you more? Drugs or prayer? Let's say you had an amputated limb. Would prayer ever bring it back? If you've heard stories about an amputated limb ever growing back, how come there's never a camera around when anything like that happens? How come there are no cameras around when any miracles happen? If you had an exam coming up, what do you think would help you earn a higher score? Prayer or studying for the test? If you prayed for me over YouTube right now, do you think I would know it somehow? What matters to God more? The quantity of prayers or the quality of the prayers? If it's the quantity that matters, how come the most popular team doesn't always win the Super Bowl? And if it's the quality that matters, how come people we really love, who, people who are close to us, how come they die no matter what we say to God? Is it possible that your prayers have no supernatural effect and only serve to make you feel better? And if that were true, would you ever admit it? Is there anything in your life right now that makes you doubt God's existence? If you did doubt God's existence, how would your life change? Was Jesus white? Why does it seem God is more likely to help someone who's a talented athlete over a starving child overseas? Why does God seem to hate Africa? If a group of people from, say, Africa came to your community with the intent to convert you to their tribal faith, would you listen to them and take them seriously? Or would you just dismiss them because they don't believe what you already believe? Does God speak to you personally? If God spoke to you and told you to kill your child, would you do it? If God told you to kill me, would you do it? Is God always watching over you? How about when you're on the toilet? What do you say to Muslims who believe the Quran is the holy book? Are they wrong? Have you read the Quran? And why do you so easily dismiss their holy book? And then why do you get upset at atheists who dismiss yours? Is acting on one's homosexuality a sin? Is homosexuality itself a sin? Do you believe gays and lesbians should have the right to get legally married? Would your church ever marry a gay or lesbian couple? If not, and you believe that they should have the right to marry, why do you remain in that church? Why would God create people who are gay and then punish them for being gay? If God is already sending gay people who act on their homosexuality to hell, why do so many Christians feel the need to persecute them here on earth? Why is God playing hide and seek with all of humanity? Do you believe Jesus is coming back to earth during your lifetime? If you do, what do you say to all those people who have been saying the same thing for centuries and who are no longer with us? Why is the story of Jesus' birth and life so similar to that of mythological beings who lived before his time? And if you want to hear about those stories, we'll leave a link below. How do you decide which sections of the Bible are literally true and which ones are just metaphorical? What are the minimum requirements for being a Christian? And who falls under that definition? Fred Phelps? Pat Robertson? James Dobson? President Obama? Do you really believe Mary was impregnated without ever having sex? If someone came up to you and said she was pregnant, but she was totally a virgin, would you believe her? Why did God have to rape a teenage girl in order to become human? If you could go back in time to when Jesus was being crucified, would you try to save him? Or would you stand back and do nothing since your entire faith depends on him being crucified? What would it take to change your mind about God's existence? Do you think it's a little strange when someone says they're going to believe in something no matter what, 
even when all the evidence seems to point in the other direction? What is something your pastor has said in church that you totally disagree with? And when that happened, did you confront your pastor about it, or did you just let it slide? Why are there so many Christian denominations? And are the people who are in those different denominations bad Christians? Are they wrong? Which denomination is right? Or which group of denominations is right? Who or what do you think is responsible for natural disasters like earthquakes or tsunamis? Can you pause the video right now and tell me what the Ten Commandments are? And if you know them, and good for you if you do, why do so many Christians believe that the first four of them belong on government property and in the classrooms? Would you feel comfortable saying the Pledge of Allegiance in class every day if the words were one nation under no God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all? Do you think it's just a coincidence that different religions are popular in different parts of the world? Do you believe that if you were born in Saudi Arabia, you would be a Muslim rather than a Christian? Is it possible that religion has less to do with what's true and more to do with the circumstances of where and when you were born? Do you believe childbirth is an example of a miracle? Does that mean Hitler was once a miracle baby? And if childbirth is a miracle, how come that miracle happens thousands and thousands of times every week? My name is Hemant Mehta and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. Leave a comment below and we'll be sure to check it out.